Hello and welcome to the series about data mining. This is part four and it's about Google search. So uh, we will be covering the basics of using Google Custom Search API to um, search the internet. Um, three important um, links to um, work with when you're dealing with this API is the Google Custom uh, Search website, uh, Google uh, Developer Console, and this is the link to the um, uh, Google Search uh, API documentation. Um, I will uh, start by importing JSON requests and pandas as PD. So uh, to uh, actually start working with um, um, Google uh, Custom Search, uh, you have to have a um, key, a Google API key, and um, a Custom Search uh, ID. I will show you now how to get uh, both. So we will uh, start with the um, custom uh, search website. The link to this is in the um, uh, description uh, box below. Um, I will uh, be working with uh, my uh, current uh, custom search engine, but I will add a new one just to show you the process of creating a new custom search. So you uh, click on add. I will add our company website. Um, and I will create will uh, create um, a new custom search go to edit search engine then set up make sure you select the search engine the custom search engine that you're working with um, go down to um, uh, sites to search make sure you change it to search the entire web but emphasize included websites and then delete the website that you added so now it will only search, uh, it will search the entire web and not emphasize anything. I'll uh, update. Um, to get your search engine ID, you will find it under details. If you click in here, you will see your search engine ID. Uh, the second thing you will need is a key to the API. Uh, if you don't, um, this is the um, Google uh, Developer Console. Um, if you don't have a project, create a new one, but I already have a project here for this tutorial. Uh, once you enter your uh, project, go to APIs. Make sure you enable custom search API. If it's not enabled here under enabled APIs, go down and make sure you enable it. So uh, you can always monitor your quota you have 100 uh, requests as it stands um, today. Uh, this might change in the future. But uh, for now, they give you 100 free searches every day. This is enough uh, for development and uh, testing the API. Uh, the um, key, you can get your key from cred uh, credentials. Um, I will be using uh, this uh, key, uh, which is a, a server key. If you don't have one, you can create a new uh, key and click on um, server key. So uh, let's uh, go back to our notebook. Once you have your key and your search engine, uh, um, custom search engine um, ID, um, store them in key and CX. Um, so uh, let's take a look at the um, API itself. You have um, um, your required uh, parameters, you have Q, this is your query expression, so you can. S this is where you put your search uh, terms, basically. Um, another important one is CX. This is where you add your um, custom um, uh, custom search ID. Date restrictions, exact uh, terms, exclude terms, all important things. Uh, file type. This is where you can specify a, a file type from. Um, uh, a list of uh, s um, file types that Google uh, index. Um, then you have um, uh, GL is important too. This is uh, the geolocation of end user. Um, Google uh, host, if you are working with uh, Google.fr uh, for France or Google.de for Germany, you can specify that in uh, your Google host um, parameter. Um, if you're working with um, uh, um, image uh, search, you have a lot of um, 
uh, really important uh, parameters in here. Uh, the image uh, color type, color, gray, mono. You can, um, uh, the dominant color of the image, you can specify which color you want from this list. Um, image size, image type. A lot of uh, really interesting things in here you have um, LR which is the it will restrict the um, search results uh, to a specific language so if you want to work with Arabic for example you will put um, uh, LR equals uh, lang underscore AR um, this is the number of uh, results to return per page uh, you can specify anything between 1 and 10 uh, the default is 10 so you don't really have to um, change that if you're um, if you want the maximum number of uh, results um, uh, related uh, site you can specify which site you want to um, um, you can specify a site that you want to search or related websites to it rights if you want to work only with um, uh, creative commons you can specify that too uh, safe uh, search uh, you can specify high medium or off um, search uh, type you can um, leave it empty if you don't want to uh, if you want just the Google search or you can uh, pass uh, the value of image to um, do an image uh, search um, site uh, search um, filter sort uh, you can specify an expression in here and uh, this is really important start this is the index the to start um, uh, returning results from so if you're um, returning more than 10 results um, if you want to request again the next page you will have to pass a starting index in here so let's see that in action um, we'll uh, prepare our request uh, and here I'm uh, passing the uh, URL um, for this uh, API and I'm passing three parameters only. I'm looking for Halloween since Halloween is near. Uh, I will be looking at uh, I'm adding CX which is my uh, custom um, search ID and my key, my um, uh, Google API key. Uh, so let's um, execute that. Uh, sorry, I forgot to execute something previous to that. Let me see. CX is not defined. Yeah, I forgot to process this field with my key and my CX. Now let's go back in here and rerun this cell. Um, now I will uh, request um, this URL and parameters, and I will be using the method get to get um, the results according to Google uh, documentation. Um, the first thing I want to do is um, process the um, uh, result um, text into a JSON object. So uh, json.loads for string, load string. And I saved that in results, an object named uh, results. Let's uh, inspect the results that we have. So uh, I will, uh, I'm looking at all the keys that it returned. It returned kind, URL, items, context, qu uh, queries, and search information. Uh, it'll be looking at each one of them individually. Kind, it will tell you that you're doing a uh, custom uh, search. Search. If you're doing an image search, you will get in here image. Um, URL, it will return a full URL with all parameters where you can just... Um, replace anything in here for example you can replace your queue with another query uh, num or anything else in here to a um, to a different uh, value so that's the template url basically um, second thing i will be looking at is items items are the uh, research uh, the search uh, results so i'm looking at the length of them i have 10 results um, uh, queries a um, few important things in here is uh, one is uh, next page uh, so I know there is a next page in here I know the total number of results is okay what is that that's 117 million results about Halloween um, and this is uh, and the second one is my current um, search uh, so this is my current request um, 
this is the uh, starting index for the next page 11 so if I want to get the next page I can pass uh, 11 to start parameter uh, we'll be looking at that in a, a minute finally uh, we have uh, search information uh, in here it will just tell me how much time it took to perform this um, search uh, total uh, number of results and other things so let's take a look at a single um, search uh, result I'm looking at the first one under items uh, from my uh, 10 search uh, results you have cache ID display link formatted URL link um, you have um, HTML formatted URL and a lot of other things not every uh, search result will include everything in here but the things that you will always get are title cache ID um, display link formatted URL HTML formatted URL HTML snippet and snippet um, in here I have something else for example um, like uh, let me see um, that's a snippet um, HTML uh, title you want to always get that um, a, a page map you want to always get a page map some uh, results don't support um, page maps and inside page map you might get completely different structure so it depends on what you're looking for and the uh, website that you uh, that you are looking at um, so let's uh, process this um, uh, I'm defining a simple function in here it will loop over results and it will get the link it will put it in a um, data frame so I'm passing data frame I'm naming this uh, column link uh, then I'm um, adding a new column title and I'm um, looping over um, my results to get titles and finally snippet then I'm returning this data frame and uh, in here I'm calling this function and passing the results that we just got and this is how it uh, looks like um, I have links in here I have 10 results starting from 0 to 9 I have titles in here starting with um, uh, Wikipedia history IMDB Halloween.com um, hmm, this is interesting the Library of uh, Congress and CDC um, the CDC website has something about Halloween five days ago and uh, you can see your results in here you can extract more results if you want but uh, that will do for this tutorial um, if you want to get the next page um, you will be uh, using um, the next page uh, index so I'm looking at um, uh, results qu uh, queries uh, next page then I'm getting the first result uh, within that and getting the start index of the next page let's see that in here just to um, look at it we have next page I'm getting the first result within this list and I'm getting the start index which is 11 uh, the second thing I'm uh, getting is my uh, search um, terms so um, I'm doing that in here I'm uh, passing um, I'm redefining the URL actually no need to redefine URL your URL but you can you have to um, specify the um, next index to start with so uh, in here I'm passing the uh, value for start which is my next index which is 11 uh, for this um, case so let's uh, do that and let's fetch these results and in here I'm um, uh, just um, I redefined my uh, uh, function actually no need to do that um, then I'm calling it again passing my results and concatenating my old results with my new results and ignoring index to get this so I will have uh, I have now 20 results in here starting from 0 to 19 with all 20 results with um, links from uh, Google search um, this uh, tutorial is available open source on GitHub and um, viewable on MB Viewer. Uh, the link to this is in the description uh, below. Feel free to use this whenever you're working with uh, custom Google search. I hope if you like this, you will subscribe to this channel and watch the previous part about uh, Twitter API, data mining Twitter API, or the next part about MongoDB. Thank you.